All right, everyone. So I'm going to talk to you about what kind of sprays, floral food, and aerosols are you going to need if you're trying to become a floral designer. Let me tell you, this is key information that not a lot of people know and a tool that not a lot of people use. And I am here to tell you, this is the easiest way to transform your floral design and take it to the next level. On this aisle, you're going to find all the spray paints. These spray paints are especially made for flowers. You can use it on fresh flowers. You can also use it on silk flowers. And as you guys can see, the variety is just absolutely enormous and the reason why is because there's some flower that they do not come in certain shades like let's say purple so you can come here and find the lavender the purple a fuchsia soft pink and this brand right here the sign master is probably the best brand for it i just absolutely love the selection they have here we're gonna pick up a few and i'm gonna share with you how they work here is a tip. If you find a flower that you cannot find the color of, or you just want to do some very monochromatic color scheme, but you cannot find, like, let's say, a blue hydrangea in the market, well, guess what? They have a great selection of floral sprays that will not damage. These are specifically formulated for fresh flowers, and it can also be used on silk flowers. It's a spray that can dye your fresh flowers. It gives them that color that you're looking for. If you're looking for a Luxpur blue, perhaps a peach, a lavender, or a pink. And as you guys can see, the selection is just so great at Shinoda Design Center. You can really take that to the next level by spraying your flowers. Let me show you how. All right, everyone. So I want to show you real quick how I use this Luxpur blue spray for silks. And you just basically want to lightly spray the flower, but don't forget to go under it as well because when hydrangeas grow blue they have this decoloration that is like stronger in some sides and less in others so that's what you need to do and i'm gonna link this below well as you can see changing the color of your flowers has never been easier you guys take advantage of this tool i have a great selection of colors because i'm getting ready to share with you how you can create monochromatic very uh modern styles with really bright colors and for that we're going to be using and i also love this design master brand it is so so easy to work with and like i said it can be used for fresh flowers and silks as well now this is your basic rustoleum and i always recommend to have a can of rustoleum gold to paint any container that you may have you know most people in the wedding world like to use a gold container but if you do not have a gold container this spray really can get it to the next level just be sure that you give it light hands of spray two or three coats and you can have a collection of beautiful containers in the gold I recommend the gold also for Christmas. You can gild any foliages, any faux foliages like salal. You can use it on fake leaves like this, which we will be doing in a video coming up. And it is just necessary to have some Rust-Oleum gold. Now, I always like to have also a flat white and a flat black because they're necessary for Christmas and for any, for any other seasonal decorating. You guys know that I like to use the white to flock my Christmas trees, and then also my wreaths. If you're gonna do a flocked wreath, then a coat of white flat spray can take that green wreath form to a more flocked look, and that way your picks that are flocked will not just like cringe on that green, right? So I really recommend to have a flat white and a flat black. This is just your generic Walmart brand. It is, like I said, keep your mechanics affordable because people will not be able to see them anyways. Like something like this will go on the wreath. You will not see it. Something like this will go on your flowers. Of course, we want a little bit more quality and we want to be sure that we have something that is not going to be bought out of Walmart because this is specially formulated for fresh flowers not to damage them all right so now let's talk about the floral food you guys this is floral life and it is a solution that you use on your fresh flowers this seals the flower let's say you finish your bouquet and of course i'm going to be sharing with you when i do the fresh flowers but when you finish your um, floral bouquet you just really go at it with this floral life and it will lack the moisture of the flowers helping them last longer you have to be generous with this one of these will go a long way they also sell them on the big gallon of it you can just continue to pour on your spray but this finishing touch by floral 
uh, life and it's hydration and protection spray, you guys. Like I said, this will lock in that moisture and it will help your flowers to last a lot longer. So you have to make sure that you get some floral life uh, finishing touch for your flowers if you are doing fresh flowers. All right, so the last one is going to be one of my favorite items. You guys have seen me use this on the channel. This is um, a, let me show you real quick. It's a spray that you can add to your silk greeneries and then also to your fresh greeneries to give them that wet look. So let's say you do an arch of silk flowers with what we're doing. Once you do all of your greenery, then you grab your leaf shine and then just go like and that will give it that wet look and make it look more fresh. And also does remove that uh, layer of dust from your greenery, makes them look more alive and more natural. And then keep in mind that this also can be used for green plants. So if you are a green plant person, like my mother, she has plants everywhere, then I recommend to get some floral leaf shine. It's also from Floral Life. You guys, they are the same brand and like I said, Shinoda Design Center really does carry the biggest selection of tools and all of the things that you need in order to become the best floral designer you can. But this big can right here, it's super affordable. It's about $12, $13 and it will last you a long time. I think I've had this for like five years, but as you guys can see, it does give it that shiny look to the leaf. And one more time, it is also recommended for fresh flowers to just remove that dust from them and to make them look wet and yummy and absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait to share with you guys all of these tools as we continue to design floral designs here for you to become the best floral designer you can be.